Good day everyone, this is Coach Edsel of the Black Stallions. We'd like to thank South Sunday for giving us this opportunity to share the Black Stallion story. So, Black Stallions, um, Samba to nag-umpisa, wala naman nag-umpisa sa pangarap. Definitely, to love basketball. Basketball must be in your blood talaga in order to make a big league, to creating a team. So, ang panag-umpisa, basically, yung kids mo naglalaro sa schools, laro for other teams. I started actually with my son, Kalil, who joined different teams like FBA, tried out for Adamson, was exposed to different teams in the north. Mapit siya sa akin, sabi niya, Dad, kasama ko sa DLA, which is where my son plays for. I would love to someday sign up, join him, play in uh, tournaments other than what we have here in the south, the Prisa and Lapsa. Sabi ko, why not? Kasi really boost their confidence entering another season if they were exposed to high caliber teams, schools with uh, a training program in order to play uh, great players. Sabi ko, yeah, why not? With yung mga push ng mga ibang coaches where my sons played for Jordan and Kalel, Coach Dong Fernandez, Coach Marvin Paliso, Coach Paco, especially Coach Ramil Manyosca, who really pushed me and became my friend, teaching me the basics of defense, offense, how to coach a team. Sabi niya, sir, why not take the next step? Diba? Create your own team, become a coach. And so, it was a big challenge. I mean, the cost, how do you get the trust of players, especially kids playing for you? I mean, in work, you're dealing with adult persons already. Here, you're gonna treat with kids. I guess one of the biggest factors was wife ko, dumapit, sabi niya, sige, dad, sabi niya, why not? Let's form the team. Actually, she and I were the ones who came up with the name for the team, the Black Stallion. Sabi niya, sige, we'll try to fight everything because this is not a profit organization team wherein we ask players to pay for practices, for training. What we ask is usually just participation, but the things are uh, uniforms. If ever we do join a competition, basically everything is sort of like our give back to society with all the blessings we receive sabi namin this is one way of helping kids reach their dreams and giving them the opportunity especially for those who well lack the financials in order to uh, join uh, big teams in order to join big competitions they started out joining three on three tournaments five on five tournaments thank you to milku for giving us that big opportunity to be exposed and luckily my son Jordan for the team, we won the championship in 5-1-5. So yun, basically that's how it all started. Kung kaya namin mag 3 on 3 5 on 5 not join a 12-man roster, long competition, and see where it goes. Basically that's how it all began. Winning a few games, winning one game in a tournament, we were very happy already. Because you can see the development and the morale of the kids growing. So that when they play back, with their schools, respective teams, you can see the big change and that's how the Black Stallions began. So what is the Stallion style of playing basketball? Uh, every time we go into practice or into games, we relate it with life. Like life, you never know what it throws at you. When you get a basketball game, you don't actually get to know the caliber of your competition when you're there. Everything is unexpected. Kaya what we focus on, which is constant, is defense talaga. Kasi, di ba, like life, may binigay sa yung challenge, wall, or obstacle. You have to go through it. At the same time, you have to defend your goals and dreams. Dapat di magbabago yun. So, same as with our style of play, don't look at the goal as a way for competition to beat us. But I tell them, that's your dream and ambition. So, you have to defend it at all costs. So, Basically, we focus a lot on defense. Defend it as if it was your dream. In terms of offense and plays naman ang maganda sa our way of playing basketball is it's not just the players adjusting to the system that I have. Actually, it's more of our plays adjusting to the skill sets the players already have. Pag tumating naman sa yung mga bata na yan, skills na yan eh, all you have to do is uh, adjust your plays. Make them not fear you 
and bring out successful strategy with the advantages your players have over competition. Another thing is nobody hesitates to give an opinion during games. It's also me listening to them most of the time. Nga. It's uh, me listening to them and our strategy is already not working. They give advices, suggestions, and most of the time it works. So I guess this is success to our style of playing basketball. Openness, trust in each other, and everyone motivates each other during games. Uh, walang sisihan, walang turuan. Rather, we constructively criticize each other. Therefore, we try to improve every time we play competitive games with other teams. So basically, that's our style of basketball. Defend your goal as in defending your dreams and ambitions in life. What values do I want to leave with my players? Yes, uh, the values kung bakit nga na po yung Black Stallions. Sana whatever they learn, whatever they achieve, being a stallion can share with others. And then they can also share the blessings for their to. It's like giving a helping hand to your friend. When you give a pick, it's like uh, taking a hit diba? for somebody you care for. And every time you make a shot, another step towards uh, reaching your dreams and your goals. So basketball is a lot like life. Lahat ng moves sa basketball actually you can relate to life. And hopefully someday, sana most of the players do reach their ambitions. Huwag nila kalimutan whatever they learn with the Black Stallions. Share it with others talaga. Share the blessings they learn and will carry in the future. So, yun. Thank you nga pala to sa mga sponsors namin. Trade Master, Shares of Everest Aircon, Nelson TV, Six Company, PKJK. Kasi without them, this Black Stallion team wouldn't be able to join prestigious competitions such as Milku, South Sunday. So whatever blessings we receive, that someday the players can also double the blessings other people will receive from them. So on behalf of the Black Stallions team, again, I'm Coach Hensel, thanking South Sunday for this opportunity given to our team. You have more competitions, more power in the future. What you're doing right now is really again have a great day everyone and thank you for sharing your time listening to the Black Stallion story. Hi, ako si Kay Delivata and point guard for the Black Stallions. Ako si Kalelko, playing point guard or forward for the Black Stallions. Hi, ako si Kurt Medina, forward ng Black Stallions. My name is Lance Pascual, number 31 of Black Stallions and my position is forward. Ako si Dexter Zalon, ang small forward ng Black Stallions. Ako si Jericho Montero, playing center or forward for Black Stallions. Ako nga pala si Ron Tuzon, na naglalaro ng shooting guard or small forward para sa Black Stallion. Mga pala si Roger Mugash, shooting guard ng Black Stallions. My name is Vince Laban and I'm 15 years old. I'm from Las Piñas City and ang position ko sa Stallions is guard tsaka forward. Black Stallions is pamilya na kasi wala nag-iiwanan. Pag may nagkamali, imamotivate na lang, walang nagdadawd. Tsaka wala rin nagkakapikunan kasi alam ng lahat kung kailan yung oras ng biruan at kung kailan dapat magseryoso. Ang Black Stallions ay di lang basta team para sa akin. Tinuturing ko na rin silang pamilya. Dahil sa team na ito, nakikita ang pagtutulungan inside and outside the court. Para sa akin, ang Black Stallions ay second pump kasi sila yung lagi ko kasama kapag may laro tapos kapag banding-banding. Ang natutunan ko naman sa Black Stallions team ay play as a team and focus lang sa game. Tapos makinig lang po sa sinasabi ng coaches. Ang Black Stallions para sa akin ay isang kaibigan at layuning manalo sa basketball. Dapat responsable ka sa court, force ka sa laro lagi at huwag kang kabuhan. Ang Black Stallions is 
family na din kasi kapag may nagkakamali sa bawat isa sa amin tinatama na agad namin hindi uh, namin pinapabayaan yung isa't isa is huwag na huwag kang mafrustrate sa laro mo kasi kapag nangyari yun mawawala, mawawala yung laro mo talaga gawin mo lang yung best mo sa bawat laro mo enjoy mo yung bawat game tsaka huwag na huwag kang susuko hanggat may oras pa natutunan ko sa kanila ay ang um, pagiging competitive and magtiwala sa sarili lalo na sa isa't isa kasi team kami and natutunan ko rin sa kanila na kung ano yung meaning ng pamilya sa basketball ang stallions para sa akin ay isang pamilya na lagi nandyan para sa isa't isa at nagtutulungan sa black stallions pag nagkamali ka sa opensa kailangan bumawi ka sa depensa dapat kahit anong trash talk or panlilit na mga kalaban, dapat mag-focus lang tayo sa game. Huwag kang ma-frustrate sa laro mo pag nagkakamali ka. Uh, Nakadistract kasi sa game yun. Hindi ka makaka-focus dahil sabi ka agad bumawi. So, dapat mag-move on ka na lang sa bumawi ka sa susunod tapos enjoy nyo lang yung game. Ang natutunan ko sa aming coach ay magtiwala ka sa tira mo. Dahil may mga chance na pumapasok ito at hindi. Pero mas malaki ang chance kapag nagtiwala ka sa tira mo. Uh, tinuring kong pamilya ang Black Stallions at lagi kami naglalaro as a team. May natutunan ko sa team ko at saka sa coach ko na huwag agad si Soko agad may oras pa. At lagi, lagi kami magkaroon ng tiwala sa sarili. Ang natutunan ko sa teammates ko ay may oras tayo ng biruan. May oras din tayo ng seryoso. Kaya dapat, focus lang sa training and focus lang sa game. Ay nadagdagan ng aking kalaman sa basketball. Tumaas ang aking kumpiyansa sa paglalaro. At nagtuto ako makisama sa kapwa ko players. Ang Black Stallions po ay parang pamilya sa akin. Dahil tinuturing ko pong mga apatid na aking mga teammate. Dahil kapag nagkamali ka po, hindi ka agad matadown dahil andyan sila palagi para i-cheer up ka. At ang natutunan ko po sa Black Stallions ay kung paano mag-seryoso sa laro at kung paano mag-tsagas. For me, uh, more on teamwork and hard work kami sa training and lalong-lalo na sa actual game.